Your doctor, genetic counselor, nurse, or other health care provider may suggest genetic testing to learn more about your diagnosis. Genetic testing can help you and your healthcare team find out more about your cancer, risk for other cancers, and treatment options by looking to see if you have a change in your DNA called a gene mutation. Just like with other medical tests or procedures, your healthcare provider must first discuss genetic testing with you and ask you for your informed consent. Informed means that you have enough information to make an educated decision about whether to be tested. Consent refers to your agreement to have the test done. There are five key components of the informed consent process. The first component is providing information about the test. Your healthcare provider will describe what the genetic test looks for and what information it can provide about your personal or family history of cancer. This will help answer questions you might have about the purpose of testing. The second component is outlining potential benefits and limitations. Your doctor, genetic counselor, or other member of your healthcare team will go over the reasons why genetic testing may be appropriate and how the test may be helpful to you and your healthcare team. Any limitations or potential risks of the genetic test are highlighted so that you have a complete picture. The third component is explaining how the test will be done. It's important that you understand how testing is done. Your healthcare team will explain what type of sample is needed for the test. Typically, a blood sample or saliva sample is used, depending on the test. Sometimes, genetic testing requires a sample of the tumor taken from your body. The fourth component is describing what happens to the results of the genetic test. Your healthcare team will let you know how these results will be communicated to you, whether in a phone call, in an electronic medical record, or at a follow-up appointment. You will also learn more about when and to whom the results could be disclosed, for example, whether or not results can be shared with other healthcare providers. Finally, the fifth component is understanding the test results. You'll be informed about what your test results might mean. Results could be positive, negative, or in some cases, uncertain. Your healthcare provider will review the possibilities with you before you agree to have a test done. Some test results may provide information that might be helpful for you to share with your family members so they can learn more about their potential risk of developing cancer. During the informed consent discussion, you will have the opportunity to ask questions once your questions have been answered, the next step will be to decide whether or not to undergo testing. Some institutions require that you sign a form, and others only need your verbal consent. Your consent is not a contract, and giving consent does not mean you must take the genetic test. You can choose not to undergo testing, even if a sample has already been collected. You can simply inform your doctor not to continue with the process. Remember that communicating with your healthcare team is important throughout the informed consent and testing processes. Good communication helps ensure that you are informed about your healthcare and are making decisions you are comfortable with.